So guys, we are out here in the Hunter Classic once again, and today we're going for a Bighorn Sheep Hunt. So I decided to spawn actually at the Lodge, because I often spawn at tents, uh, which probably not everyone has set up, so I thought I would go up uh, the long way from the Lodge, which is pretty much just going uh, up like this. So we should be running into some elk before we get there, um, maybe a grizzly bear as well, so anything we can get along the way we'll definitely take. I brought the Reverse Draw Crossbow uh, mainly for that, and then I have the 7mm Break, which we haven't used very much for the sheep, and I did bring the 10 mil as well, just for a little bit of fun maybe uh with a sheep as well and mainly the goal of this video is going to be talking about uh the major updates we have coming in the hunter classic so we'll be doing that a little more when we run into some animals so we've got our first bighorn sheep male out here it's kind of quiet getting up here uh nothing really to speak of but this is probably a 140s ram but it's quite far away which is perfect to talk about uh the main new thing coming here to the hunter classic which is extended render range i think we'll go ahead uh, and take the shot and then we'll talk a bit about that as we head up there to claim him. So you probably also noticed that I brought the 12 power scope on the 7mm uh, and there is a reason for that. So first off, let me go to the map quick. I got to scroll down uh, on the other page that I have just to look at something quickly. All right. So basically with this extended render range, if you're on low scene complexity, the render distance is going to stay the same, which is 220 meters. Uh, if you are on medium scene complexity, it'll be improved to 270 meters and on high or very high, it will be improved to the full and maximum 320 meter render distance, which is going to be huge. That's an added 100 meters horizontal uh, render. And if you're wondering why I mentioned the fact that it's horizontal, if you go up on a hill, let's say you can manage to get uh, up on this hill, uh, you're getting a little bit of horizontal range because, of course, you're looking uh, like the hypotenuse to the triangle. You've got like that angle that you're looking at. Um, so that's going to be quite nice. You're getting a, a pretty good render advantage now. Uh, with that change, it's going to be quite nice. I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, and there are some new items coming out uh, with that as well. I'll look at those uh, in a second when we get to probably another big horn or something like that. Yeah, but I'm really excited about that. It's going to change a lot of things. White Rhyme Ridge, uh, Hunting Big Horn or Ibex, Feral Goat on uh, on Bushrangers, around a lot of the maps. Uh, even like Logger's Point's got areas where you can see definitely uh, that far. It's, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, to get to go for that long of shots. And I'm wondering, I don't know if ballistics are going to change at all with uh, bullet drop. That could definitely be a thing. Uh, so I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what happens uh, with all that. It's going to be really, really big uh, and really good for the game. But we managed to drop this guy at 188 meters with an intestine and left lung shot. 147 score on him. So that's not too bad. Let's see if we can find another sheep uh, and talk about the upcoming items. We've definitely got a few sheep around us. I can hear footsteps. One should be coming into view here. It's actually a male. Let's try to get it with the 10 mil. Uh, since it's that close, it's a little guy. 20 to 100. And he is down. We'll go see what the other one that I heard was. We'll see if we can at least... Oh, I actually saw it for a second. I'm not going to get to see it, though, uh, to tell what it was. So we'll check the tracks. I'm tracking a max weight one, so if it's not that one, uh, we'll get back on the tracks. But look at that little guy. Double lung shot at only 14 meters, 86 score on him. Uh, but one of the items coming out is a 30 by 65 millimeter spotting scope. So just to take this one, for example, let's look at something really far away there. That is 16 power. This spotting scope is 16. Uh, I want to say 16 by 50. Is that actually accurate? Uh, it is 16 by 50. Yeah. So we're going to have, if it's 30 by 65, that should mean uh, a bit of a bigger um, range of sight and also almost twice as much zoom so you figure how much we're zooming in like how far away that is and how closely you can see it with this spotting scope is going to be almost twice as close with a new one coming out so that's going to be huge as well especially for uh, looking at animals like 300 meters especially like the smaller ones uh, say like uh, animals smaller than a deer that's going to be really really useful and we've got another 140 sheep here I hear one moving around uh, beside us I don't know if the one out here is the one that I was tracking but uh, we're going to go ahead and take him out. We're going to have to shoot through the grass, I think. All right, he is down. Let's see if we can get a spot on whatever's here uh, that's just running off. It sounds like it's going this way. Uh, and then we'll talk about the next item, which is actually the one that I'm more excited about uh, with this long range thing. And actually, I should mark quickly where we shot that male just so I have uh, a rough idea. And I'm definitely not going to get the spot that other one. So I guess we'll just go over there uh, and pick him up. We'll see if I can get maybe one of the tracks. Uh, as we run over here, but the other item coming out with this new render uh, distance thing is, after we see this track, which is a female, so I don't care, uh, a 5.5 to 22 power rifle scope. It is apparently going to be called the Eagle MK1. 
Uh, so just for comparison again, I have the 12 power scope. Uh, you can see how well that zooms. You can barely see that tiny bush on the mountain. Then when I bring it up, you can see it uh, quite well, almost twice as much uh, again with the zoom on the new scope. So that's going to be really nice for those long shots. Uh, and there is a list of the weapons that will go on. I'll go through that uh, in a bit, or maybe I'll just put it on screen uh, after we grab this mail. Looks like he should be somewhere around in here. Did I actually mark him dead on? I didn't even see him when I put that mark down. That's pretty good. But at 125 meters, we got left lung, right lung, and intestine. And I will go ahead and just read out uh, the weapons that that new scope will go on. Uh, both of these 7 mm break actions, or maybe all three, I don't remember how many we have now, but uh, of course the one we have in our hands, the 7 mm bullpup, the 8x57 Anschutz, the 9.3 Anschutz, and also the 9.3x74R, the new one, the double barrel. That's going to be insane. That gun at over 300 meters, that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, but also with the 30R, 4570 government, 223 bolt action rifles, 300 bolt action rifles, and the 340. So it's going to go on a lot of guns, and it's going to be a lot of fun to use at long range for sure. So this is the first time we can actually kind of look at this. Like, imagine being able to see a sheep all the way over there. Uh, on the side of that hill. That could be so much fun to go for long shots uh, with like especially some of the weaker weapons because like the 9.3 by 74R obviously that is probably going to drop the sheep if you can hit it even in the intestines but let's say like the 6.5 or uh, one of the smaller guns that's like one of the things I enjoy uh, with the smaller weapons is that kind of challenge of making a good shot uh, especially at range like it's not going to be as easy to drop them so that could be so much fun I'm definitely looking forward uh, to doing that as well but this is the first time we could actually see 300 meters uh, where we could potentially spot an animal but one thing that I'm considering uh, I don't know maybe this is just a spot that there is no real vegetation but I think uh, like these kind of trees should be rendering further as well uh, with the updates so that should be a little bit interesting and go figure we actually got a pretty nice sheep out here where I was just looking pretty much I'm trying to get a spot on it. I think he's like 160s, maybe 170. We've got 100 to 180 uh, on the estimate, but that spotting scope, the new one, would make it so much nicer because I'm just barely able to get a spot uh, out there around 200 meters. So let's see if we can drop this guy. He's a pretty good sheep. I think that will be good enough to drop him, and I saw a female over here as well. Maybe we can manage to get her. Uh, I'm going to try to line this up. I do believe we got a hit on that as well, so uh, I'm going to just... Yeah, okay, she's down there. I know where she's at, so we'll go ahead and mark her, and then we have to go see uh, about spotting the male. And I've already lost where she is, but I think it was somewhere around there. But yeah, just imagine being able to have so much more zoom at range like that. And as I said earlier, taking like 300 meter shots is going to be so much fun. Like, you could kind of do before if you got uh, up on a really steep cliff and shot uh, almost straight down. You could get a really long range going that way. Uh, but this is going to be so much more fun with the horizontal... Uh, like 300 meter render range. That's going to be really, really awesome. And uh, uh, if you do have a computer that's not able to run on the higher scene complexity, so you're not actually benefiting from the render distance, of course you still do get uh, the items. You'll still get the, the spotting scope that goes up to 30 zoom and the rifle scope that goes up to 22 zoom. So there's still going to be that aspect. And there is uh, another feature as well that I do want to talk about, but uh, we'll probably do that after we find the sheep because I want to make sure I actually find it. He was a pretty good one. Well, this is the female. We'll just get her, so at least uh, we have that one. Not really a good shot hitter in the hip bone at 189 meters, but uh, I went with the 7mm because it's got all the power uh, for dropping them. Is that our sheep still alive? Or is that another big one? I'd be shocked if he survived, especially since a hip bone shot uh, just dropped the other one. Let's see if we can get a spot on him. He's actually kind of stuck there, so we'll use the spotting scope for that. See if that's actually the same sheep. I'd be really, really surprised uh, if he survived a 7mm, even straight body hit without like shoulder blade or anything. But I can't seem to get a spot. And he does look to be about the same size. That's him, 100 to 180. Did we like hit a rock or something? I seem to remember him flinching, but we'll see if we can get a better shot in him now. That's a little more like it. He is down right there. And like I said, he should be a 160 plus. Uh, pretty much for sure he's a good looking sheep, so nice to get a good one out here while talking about uh, the new features that we're going to get. Like I said, I'm going to save the last one uh, until we find something else. If you've not read the status update yet, uh, obviously you have no idea what I'm talking about and I got stuck. Uh, I do think that it's going to be something that everybody's going to be excited about. It's something that's been asked for uh, pretty much since multiplayer became a thing. Uh, so there's a hint for you if you don't know what it is yet, and of course those of you that already know what it is. Uh, know what I'm talking about, but it's gonna be pretty great So let's go up here and get our sheep 
and find something else so we can talk about that. 168 with a stomach shot, so we did not hit him the first time. I have to believe it's the same one. Uh, the exact same score estimate is pretty unlikely, uh, so I guess somehow we just missed? I don't know, that was weird. A pretty nice looking sheep for sure though, a pretty tough trophy shot uh, where we are at, but I think we'll go with that and continue on. As I said, if we can find one more animal, uh, we will reveal the biggest change in my opinion for everybody. We've actually got another good sized sheep out here, let's get a quick estimate on him 130 to 210 so potentially a 180s but he looks like another 160s uh to me but now uh it's time to talk about what i think is going to be everyone's favorite feature with this new update uh and that is multiplayer deployable so if you don't know what i mean by that basically if you own a tree stand if you own a ground blind uh any deployable i'm not actually sure about deployable towers i would guess that's a no because like they take 24 hours to build uh but tree stands blinds tripods you can actually put those up in multiplayer games so uh the way that it works if you set up a, a, a tree stand or a ground blind whatever and then you leave it's returned to your inventory and one thing that i just read if you're in someone else's that's not the host and they leave uh like let's say you're in a tree stand you just kind of like fall to the ground it doesn't hurt you or anything uh but then it'll be a little more difficult of course to shoot whatever you've got coming in uh but yeah so basically now you'll be able to just bring your tree stand with you to a multiplayer game uh, and hang it in their stand or in their trees wherever you need to. So uh, that's going to really change the game because of course before if you wanted to hunt with your equipment you had to hunt on your map. Now you can carry a tree stand around, carry a tripod around for hunting uh, European rabbits, uh, take a ground blind for like missions and stuff. That's going to really change the game, especially for missions where you need uh, that kind of thing. Because let's say you can't afford a bear barrel. Uh, I know... I thought I heard a sheep, sorry. Uh, I know that there is a mission where you have to shoot two brown bear out of a ground blind, but let's say you don't have a bear barrel. Uh, it's somewhat difficult to set up a blind and get a shot on a bear, uh, but you could just bring your own blind to someone's map that has a tree stand, let's say, at their bear barrel, and just shoot uh, two, two bears out of that blind with whatever gun you've got, and you've got mission complete. So that's going to be huge. I really think that's going to be uh, quite important to the game, and it's going to uh, really bring a lot of people back to multiplayer that are like hunting on other people's maps. But um, I'm really looking forward to that as well. Obviously, I do have quite a lot of equipment uh, accumulated over the years, so I'm going to try to use that uh, in multiplayer games, and it's going to be nice for people that like want to try out uh, equipment. You can just bring it with you if you want to take someone out that's new you can just bring a tree stand or like a, a double tree stand a double tripod ground blind uh and hunt with them that way so that's going to be quite nice uh i'm definitely looking forward to getting to do that uh and i'm also looking forward to finding this sheep i don't know how we got a body shot or where he got to but my guess is that he's not far considering what happened with the female oh there he is he really didn't go anywhere at all eh, he's not too bad looking i think another 160s 182 actually he was bigger than i thought i can't believe we just got a 180s uh in this quick hunt talking about the new update but a shoulder blade shot 165 meters that is a monster i still can't believe we got that lucky just on a quick hunt like this uh talking about the new update 180 sheep is definitely huge and that is about it for the update portion of this i guess we're just going to go for a little more uh hunting bighorn here i'm just spotting the last of these couple of females there's actually four here uh, unfortunately, no males, although I hear something to my right, so maybe we should actually be checking that. Uh, before we shoot anything, I want to just make sure we get that one spotted. Uh, and whatever is back here is done over the hill, but we'll take a look at that. But yeah, uh, as I said, guys, a lot of stuff coming to the game that's going to be uh, really game-changing, in my opinion. I'm really looking forward to getting to do that. We've got another female sheep here. That's not the one that I actually heard, though, so we got to check even one more. I'm trying to spot that, but we'll just you know, see about this one, and maybe if we get lucky... Uh, we can just take it with a 10 mil, male or female, I think we're going to shoot it uh, with a 10 mil just because everything else is far away and this one's going to be right down here anyway. That's right on top of us. Oh, just spooked. It's a female. And I think we got a spine one shot and was that? Oh, it was a sheep. I thought it was a ptarmigan for a second. Another female. This is not the best area apparently for males. Alright, two more down. By the way, we're up here... Uh, north of the White Cap Mountain. I'll just go on the map quick uh, and show you where I mean. We're getting up into this area. I'll probably just do a little loop around like that and either call it a video or maybe head down south for like one or two more animals. But it's actually been a really good hunt. Obviously, we had the 180 and 160 Ram. Now, if we can only do that uh, for the trophy hunting series, I wish I would have just called it that for this, but it was for the update. So I'm just glad we got some nice sheep. Managed to get spine one on our female, a 43 score. Uh, and then the other female down here, uh, 
I don't know, it was maybe spine as well. It was a bit of a weird angle, but I definitely managed to drop it, which I just... I'm trying to figure out about that 182 because I shot a 185 last night. Um, unfortunately, that was not recorded because I was actually not even in the game. I was on my phone uh, getting something set up for Discord, and then when I heard footsteps, I came back in, spooked it, uh, and just shot it with the 30 out 6. But it looked way bigger, and 182 to 185 is not that big a difference. So uh, I want to take a look at that. I'm going to actually mount the 182, I think, and look at them side by side in a trophy lot just to try to get an idea like so I know like what's a true 180 because that really to me did look like a 160s uh, I didn't even think it was bigger than the one we shot earlier but I'm definitely glad it was big and actually just a intestine and left lung shot on other female 41 score for her so yeah we'll do that little loop uh, around here if we get a few more sheep I'll probably wrap it up uh, up here if not we'll just go down south a little bit and I think we ran into the females that uh, we had earlier let's see if we can get this one with the 10 mil again if she will stop or start running perfectly. I think we hit her. Yeah, she's definitely running uh, like she's hit. And considering how hard it is for me to run through those rocks, I imagine she's going to have just as hard a time. And I actually don't even hear her moving. So I do believe she went down uh, probably like an intestine shot. She kind of like started to jump forward a little bit uh, right when we shot. So barring me not being able to get uh, to there because of how terrible this terrain is, she is down right here and we can grab her. Uh, and move on. That's a nice way to die. Her head's like twisting around. I'm actually very surprised with that straight hip bone shot with the 10 mil uh, and only a four second wound time. So that's actually the same uh, as the 7mm break. I think it was 4.3 or 4.4 second wound time uh, with the hip bone shot on the female earlier. So that's actually interesting. So we've come down south here and we got all kinds of animals. We got a somewhat decent Rocky Mountain elk there. Uh, one that I think might top 300 here and a pretty nice... Uh, mule deer buck right there probably close to 190 so i switched to 9.3 so we have the double shot uh, i'm gonna try to get the bigger of the two elk and the mule deer when they come a little bit closer uh probably the mule deer first because of course he's smaller uh, of a target to hit while running and also he's further away so let's go ahead uh and drop him first he is down and this is the elk we want oh just missed that all right might be able to get reloaded in time especially if he just runs back at us that's somewhat useful Oh, that wasn't even close. Got a single hit in him, though. And probably not going to get another one. Unless I can catch him up here. I don't actually see him anymore. That's a cow. I don't know if he went down or if he just ran another direction. I might try to hit that cow if she steps out to the left a little further, though. Uh, and then we'll probably wrap it up after we find our elk if we have to shoot him again or not. I was hoping this cow would step out can't really see her where she is. I guess we'll just go for it. Why not? And she is down, but uh, yeah, like I was saying, I'm really looking forward to having that 22 power scope on this gun. Long range shots with this is going to be so much fun. Uh, like imagine hunting, uh, let's say, a doll sheep or bighorn ibex uh, with that 22 power scope with this incredibly powerful gun. That's going to be Really, really fun, and I, I said earlier as well with some of the less powerful guns, uh, that's something that I really enjoy shooting, like the uh, the goats and stuff long range with the the guns that can't just drop them really easily, even with like an intestine shot. So looking forward to doing a lot of that. Pretty much hit everything on this one, even though we shot her uh, from the back, got intestine, liver, and actually double lung somehow at that angle, and I didn't see that our elk went down anywhere in here so he may not have actually went down from that shot i'm not really sure uh if we have to shoot him again we can do that but we do need to go grab our mule deer buck which was actually uh somewhat decent as well right long shot at 54 meters and a 181 score for him definitely not too bad uh and let's hopefully make sure we track the right elk because they had the same exact weight estimate uh and i'm not actually sure which one i need to follow but hopefully he has at least one blood track on the ground somewhere i think that's one right there and it does look like it might be intestine blood it is so he should go down from that shot and there he is he actually went really really far with that intestine shot so it must have been like just intestine or just stomach maybe uh because he really ran but yeah he's not too bad looking a good way to end i think it was just straight intestine and a 290 score uh with a four and a half minute wound time so actually even the intestine shot using the 9.3 he ran quite far but yeah 
Actually, that was a really good hunt. I had a n couple of nice animals uh, there at the end, and of course the 182 sheep, which I still can't believe uh, actually scored that big. But yeah, we got to talk about all of the new stuff coming out for Classic, which I am super excited about, and I hope you guys are too. Uh, so if you've got any thoughts about it, leave them in the comments below. I definitely want to see what everyone else is thinking about this. So with that, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.